Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in statistical mechanics, we are going to discuss about ensemble in quantum statistical mechanics. So, as we know, there are three types of ensemble: canonical ensemble, microcanonical ensemble, and also about grand canonical ensemble. All these type of ensemble we have already discussed in our earlier lectures. Now, ensembles in quantum statistical mechanics. Here we will discuss about microcanonical ensemble, canonical ensemble, and grand canonical ensemble. So, in quantum statistical mechanics, here we are discussing about these three types of ensemble. First one is microcanonical ensemble. The density matrix for the microcanonical ensemble corresponding to a diagonal Hamiltonian is given by rho mn equal to delta mn magnitude of bn square. Density matrix we have already discussed in our last lecture and the link of that lecture is given in description box. Here magnitude of bn square is constant if the value of en lying between e and e plus delta e and outside this limit its value will be 0. Here en is the eigenvalues of the Hamiltonian. Now the density operator rho equal to sigma e is less than en is less than e plus delta e cat phi n bra phi n and trace of rho is the number of states whose energy lies between e and e plus delta e. Also trace of rho equal to sigma n rho mn and this is equal to gamma e. For a macroscopic system, the spectrum e n almost form a continuous spectrum, not discrete spectrum. For delta e is very much less than e, gamma e equal to omega e delta e and here omega e is the density of states at energy e. Entropy S is a function of E and V and this is equal to K log gamma E. Ergo definition is same as that of classical statistical mechanics. So the same definition we also find in classical statistical mechanics. Only difference is that here gamma E must be calculated by using quantum mechanics. So in classical statistical mechanics gamma e is calculated by using classical mechanics whereas here gamma e is calculated by quantum mechanics. So all the results will be same as that of the classical mechanics except third law of thermodynamics. Now canonical ensemble. Here the integration over gamma space is replaced by a sum over all the states of the system. So 1 upon factorial n h raised to 3n integration dp dq become sigma n. The canonical ensemble is defined by the density matrix as rho mn equal to delta mn e raised to minus beta en and beta equal to 1 upon kt. This equation states that at room temperature t, the relative probability for the system to have the energy eigenvalue en is exponential minus beta en. This is known as Boltzmann's factor. The partition function is given by Q 
n is equal to trace of rho is equal to sigma n e raised to power minus beta e n and beta equal to 1 upon kt. Here, sum is over the states, not over the energy eigenvalues. So here sum is over the states. It is not over the energy eigenvalues. The density operator rho m n equal to sigma n cat phi n e raised to power minus beta e n bra phi n and this is equal to e raised to power minus beta h because h equal to Hamiltonian and Hamiltonian actually represents the energy. So rho m n equal to e raised to power minus beta h sigma n cat phi n bra phi n. So e n is replaced by h and here h is Hamiltonian operator and sigma n cat phi n bra phi n is identity operator using the completeness property of eigenstate. So this is written by using the completeness property of eigenstates. Now rho m n equal to e raised to power minus beta h. Therefore partition function is given by since partition function is this one so q and v t equal to trace of rho equal to trace of e raised to power minus beta h. So by using this one we can write the partition function in terms of Hamiltonian. So the partition function in terms of Hamiltonian can be written as this equation. The ensemble average of operator A in the canonical ensemble is given by ensemble average of A equal to trace of operator A e raised to power minus beta h divided by qn. Now grand canonical ensemble the grand partition function is given by r equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n q n v t and this q n is actually partition function for n particles. In grand canonical ensemble the ensemble average of operator a is given by ensemble average of operator a equal to 1 upon r sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n ensemble average of a over n. Here ensemble average of a over n is actually ensemble average in canonical ensemble for n particles. So this is the ensemble average in canonical ensemble for n particles. Now grand partition function r is this one or r equal to trace of e raised to power minus beta h minus mu n and this mu is actually chemical potential and n is particle and ensemble average of a is this one. So ensemble average of a equal to 1 upon r trace of operator a e raised to power minus beta h minus mu n. Here n is an operator representing a conserved quantity that is a quantity which commutes with Hamiltonian. Here we end our session. In today's session we have discussed about ensemble in quantum statistical mechanics. Goodbye.